The next one is 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 4 plus etc. Nth term is 1 by n into n plus 1 because first term is 1 into 2 the denominator. Second term is 2 into 3 so the nth term will be 1 n into n plus 1 and nth term will be 1 by n into n plus 1. Okay that is equal to we are going to do this question in another way. Instead of 1 by n into n plus 1 I can rewrite it as 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 because if we take the LCM what we get is n plus 1 minus n by n into n plus 1. So that n get cancelled giving you 1 by n into n plus 1. So this term can be written like this 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1. And here we are going to substitute the value of n as 1, 2, 3 etc. If I substitute the value of n here as 1 we are getting 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2. If I substitute the value of n as 2, what I get? 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. If I substitute the value of n as 3, what I get is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. If I substitute n as 4, I will be getting 1, sorry, this minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5. And it goes on and I am writing the nth term. Nth term we already know. 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1. And I, again I am going to add all these terms. So what will be the left side a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus etc plus an is equal to here you can see 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 like that it goes isn't it. So minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2 gets cancelled. Minus 1 by 3 and plus 1 by 3 gets cancelled. Minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 gets cancelled. Minus 1 by 5 and the next term 1 by 5 will be next term. Of, of the next term that means the fifth term first term will be 1 by 5 it will get cancelled likewise in the nth term 1 by n and 1 by n plus 1 if you are following the pattern which term will get cancelled 1 by n get cancelled leaving 1 by 1 in the first term okay and a minus 1 by n plus 1 in the second term so Second term means the last term. All other terms got cancelled. So what is the sum we are getting? 1 minus 1 by n plus 1. Taking LCM, n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 giving you the value n by n plus 1. This is the sum. We are not applying any formula of sigma n, sigma n square etc. For this question you have to write the nth term. Instead of the nth term we have to write as 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 and substitute the value of n as 1, 2, 3 etc. and directly add the terms. Okay.